What's up, everybody? It's Keefe. You're watching the Weekly Ritual, Ghost Cult's new show, right here on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. GhostCultMag.com is a small business. With that out of the way, let's get into it. In case you missed it, features a ghost cult. And we kick things off with the granddaddy of them all, the shirtless doom metal legend, Matt Pike. We interviewed him all about High on Fire, Sleep, but most of all, his brand new book, Head on a Pike, the illustrated lyrics of Matt Pike. We talked to the grindcore and death metal legend himself, Barney Greenway of Napalm Death. Napalm Death is out on the road right now with Gwar and I Hate God. They just dropped a new video for Contagion, and we caught up with Barney about all of it. We also talked to Chris Deering of The Sound That Ends Creation. His new album is out now. We also talked to Isaiah Radke of the band Radke. They just played at Riot Fest this fall and have a whole bunch of stuff to update the fans on. We also want to give a special shout out to Gimme Metal Radio. They let us host our second annual guest DJ show this week and it was awesome. We also want to give a shout out to all the fans who supported us on Bandcamp Friday for our second annual charity comp. The Crushing Underground Compilation Volume 2 was put together by Ghost Cult and William Jennings of the band Ghost Hello. Shout out to William. And it was really awesome. We raised money for charity, a great charity, the National Alliance to End Homelessness. We had hundreds of streams and got a few hundred bucks. We want to thank you all. And now, the news rundown. Killswitch Engage has finally rebooked their long-anticipated headline tour supporting their album Atonement out now on Metal Blade Records. Direct support will come from August Burns Red and Light the Torch featuring Howard Jones, who used to be in Killswitch Engage. What could happen? Maybe the two Kill Killswitch singers will sing together. Ooh. I do the Volbeat voice when I talk about Volbeat. Volbeat has announced an intimate show for London next spring as part of their world tour supporting their upcoming new album coming out in December on Republic Records. Irish punks, no, they're not really from Ireland. Dropkick Murphys will resume their popular March St. Patrick's Day theme tour all around St. Patrick's Day for the Irish, including a long stint of shows in New England near their hometown of Boston. Awesome. Another band getting to support their long out album, Cattle Decapitation, will finally get to play some dates supporting Death Atlas, the 2019 album on Metal Blade Records, and they have booked a banger of a tour. Direct support will come from The Last 10 Seconds of Life, Creeping Death, and Extinction AD. Last week we brought you the news about lineup changes and being as an ocean. Now they have announced the tour they were teasing. Dear God, the album tour, the 10 year anniversary album tour. They're gonna play the whole album in full, plus other hits with their as yet named new members. Direct support on that tour will come from Capstan, Thousand Below, and Limbs. Swedish melodic death metalers Dark Tranquility will return to North America next spring with an awesome tour featuring Cataclysm and Nail to Obscurity. In addition to their show in February in Las Vegas with Metallica, Greta Van Fleet has announced a headline tour for all of the rest of 2022. Recently, we brought you the news that Ministry had to postpone their 2021 tour dates to 2022, but they rebooked featuring Melvins and Corrosion Conformity, and that tour is selling so well, they added 13 more dates to it. Indie rockers Greet Death have booked a hometown show in Detroit coming up soon, in a few weeks, and they will hit the road next March with Infant Island opening. Crossover Thrash King's Municipal Waste hits the road this week, with Crowbar, Skeletal Remains, and Dead Heat. The story that broke the internet in rock and metal news this week was Slipknot dropping a new song, The Chapel Town Rags. Got very Iowa vibes to it. We dug it a lot. They played the song live for the first time in Knotfest LA on Friday, they, which also live streamed everywhere. And the band is gonna play Welcome to Rockville this week. They'll probably play it again live, again. Things I did not have on my bucket list for 2022, Foo Fighters are releasing a horror comedy. Studio 666 is coming in February in the USA and North America and later on in the rest of the world. It's got a cast of characters including Whitney Cummings, Leslie Grossman, Will Forte, Jenna Ortega, and Jeff Garland. Clutch will host another edition of their popular live stream series, Live from the Doom Saloon, Volume 4. And the band is promising to debut a brand new song, new Clutch album, coming in 2022. Korn is teasing a new song or a new album potentially all over the world with billboards and a cool QR code, social media integration, 
There's cool visuals. They've updated their Spotify playlist. Korn finished recording their new album last spring. They just got off the road where they had a lot of trouble with COVID, but luckily made it through the whole tour. They even opened for System of a Down for a few dates. So we're very excited about the prospect of new Korn tunage. Internet shredder sensation Jared Dines and vocalist Howard Jones of Light the Torch and their supergroup Cyan will drop a new song today, as well as a new video. Their new album might drop before the end of the year, actually. Metal supergroup The Halo Effect has dropped their very first single, Shadow Minds, from their upcoming debut album, due out next year from Nuclear Blast Records. The band is made up of five, count them, five former members of Inflames, including Jesper Stromblin, Daniel Svensson, Peter Iwers, Nicholas Engelin, and Michael Stan of Dark Tranquility. The band is just like you would imagine it, melodic death metal like it used to be. If you like old Inflames, this is definitely a band for you. All-time iconic classic rock album Led Zeppelin IV turned 50 this week. It's older than me, for crying out loud. The album, which features Stairway to Heaven, the most popular classic rock song ever, turned 50, and the band celebrated with a radio show slash podcast with archival interviews and in interesting tidbits and facts about the record none of us ever knew. This is the most talked about and celebrated and played record of all time, actually. Napalm Death bassist Shane Embry has dropped another single from his Dark Sky Burial Project with a new album coming out next month, and the song and video from Mine Rat is out now. The album title is a long Latin thing I can't say or pronounce. Alice in Chains guitarist Jerry Cantrell just released his recent solo album Brighton just a few weeks back as a DIY project, and he said in an interview, one artist he'd really like to work with is Mike Patton. He's so sick, says Jerry. We're here for that. We would love to see an Alice in Chains Mike Patton collabo. Mike, if you're listening or watching, please let this happen. Symphonic metal legend Sarah Jezebel Deva has released a brand new single, A Sign of the Sublime Redux, a reimagining of her classic single from her album of the same title from over 10 years ago. She got a who's who of her former collaborators and colleagues and peers to be on this track with her including Ken Newman, Danabella, Lindsay Schoolcraft, Dave Pibus, and Ghoul from Mayhem Now, but formerly of Cradle. And this track is incredible. A lot of fans on the internet are clamoring for more like this. Sarah says, probably not, maybe one more song before she moves on to something else. She recently put out new music with Torn Between Two Worlds. She did a cover of Adele's Hello. What can she do? We love you, Sarah. Everybody's getting into crypto. Des Fafara of Devil Driver has teamed up with his pal, D. Randall Bly from Lamb of God to launch Chakra Coin. Not only is it a cryptocurrency, but it also aims to do good by raising money for charity on every purchase and spend. A pretty cool novel idea. You can check it out at the link below if you're interested. And eh, pretty cool. Everybody's getting into NFTs and crypto. Post metal legends Cult of Luna have announced their new album, The Long Road North, coming in early 2022. The band released some information about this album. We're waiting for a new song. This is very exciting news. Cult of Luna was actually the last in person interview Ghost Cult did before the pandemic and the lockdown here. I miss you, bands. I hope to see you in person soon. Did you go see Eternals this week? Marvel Studios Eternals, the latest blockbuster film, the 26th film in the MC universe. And very early in the film, we got an appearance by Pink Floyd, but more notably Pink Floyd's Time, the classic song from the Dark Side of the Moon album in 1973. This is not the first time Pink Floyd has been involved in Marvel. A frame from Doctor Strange was actually in the second Pink Floyd album, A Saucer Full of Secrets. Red alert, y'all! Stabbing Westward is back! Stabbing Westward dropped their first new single, I Am Nothing, from their upcoming new album, Chasing Ghosts, due out next March from Cop International. Their first record in 20 years. Awesome! Punk legends Dayglow Abortions dropped a brand new song, Gone Is Love, from their upcoming new album, Hate Speech. Date to be announced, but due out in 2022. We're hoping to interview Murray the Cretan Acton very soon. Ohio avant rock trio Hirokin teamed up with Japanese noise music god Mersbo for a collaborative album called Falter Pursuit out now on Sleeping Giant Golacelia Records. I hope I said that right. Golacelia. Senses Fail dropped a brand new single, I'm Sorry I'm Leaving, their second of their upcoming new album due next summer, 2022. And finally, I hope you brought a box of tissues because at the kickoff show of the long-awaited Hailstorm and Evanescence co-headline tour, 
both Lizzie Hale and Evanescence teamed up for a cover of Linkin Park's Heavy, and it's about the saddest and most beautiful thing ever. I shit you not. Unbelievable stories you can't make up. Do you like Pantera? Do you like poutine? Well, now you can have both at the same time. A vulgar display of poutine has opened up in Littleton, New Hampshire. Poutine is the super delectable food usually associated with French Canada, like Quebec or Montreal, and it's basically fries and gravy with cheese curds. It's amazing if you can get it made right. And now a poutine shop, vulgar display of poutine, has opened up in New Hampshire. Clever name, you guys. And now for a look at Who Rules It Streaming. This week's Who Rules It Streaming, we've got awesome shred guitarist Charlie Griffith on his YouTube channel, bringing together a bunch of his awesome super friends to cover Megadeth's Symphony of Destruction from Megadeth's album Countdown to Extinction. Joining Charlie on the track is vocalist Roddy Walker, drums by Delta Empire, keyboards by the great Jordan Rudis of Dream Theater, and Connor Green on the bass. And now for a look at some of the music on New Music Friday. 200 stab wounds, slave to the scalpel, maggot stop, all hail the Yeti, within the Hollow Earth EP, minus head records, all that remains, the Fall of Ideals vinyl re-release, Craft Recordings, Baylor, Disposable Youth, Blood Blast, Metallica, The Devolver Album, Metal Assault Records, Black Soul Horde, Horrors from the Void, Vinyl Store, Bonded, Into Blackness, Century Media Records, Ork Nagar, Self-Titled Re-release, Century Media Records, Cauldron, Into the Cauldron Re-release, Dissonance Records, Cave Bastard, Wrath of the Bastard, Antrim Records, Darkwood's My Patrol, Angel of Carnage Unleashed, Napalm Records, Dawn of Solace, Flames of Perdition, Noble Demon, Jin, Meandering Souls, Clonosphere, Dold Vord Ends Now, Morker, Lupus Lounge, Electric Guitars, Freewheeler, Mighty Music, Enough's Enough, Hard Rock Night, Frontiers SRL, Eyes Wide Open, Through Life and Death, Rising Empire, I the Wild, Colors of the Dark, Self-Released, Hammerfall, Renegade 2.0 DVD and CD, Nuclear Blast Records, LA Guns, Checkered Path, Frontiers SRL, Life of a Hero, Letting Go, Battle God, Mordred, The Noise Years, Dissonance Records, Non-Servium, Et Plus Parto Derrier, Trepanation Recordings, North Tale, Eternal Flame, Nuclear Blast Records, Scattered Hamlet, Stereo Overthrow, Buck Moon Records, Show Ya, Showdown, Metal, Suffocation, Live in North America, Nuclear Blast Records, Time Child, and Yet It Moves, Mighty Me, Ultra Raptor, Tyrants, Fighter Records, The Unity, The Devil You Know Live, SPV and Steam Hammer, and Vomit the Soul, Cold, Unique Leader Records. And now for a look in our mailbag. This week's mailbag, we feature an awesome vinyl I got in the mail, Anthrax's Worship Music. This album is 10 years old, but it's really amazing. It was their comeback record with Joey Belladonna, limited to 250 pieces. This beautiful swirly vinyl is an awesome addition to your Anthrax vinyl collection. Hopefully gonna get a new Anthrax record at least recorded, if not released, in 2022. <sighs> you made it to this part of the show, so you know what time it is. It's the end. GhostcoatMag.com is a small business, and we really appreciate the support. So smash that like button, ding that notification bell, and find out whenever we release a new video, at least three every week. As we say every week at this juncture of the show, it's a tough time in the world. So please, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and stay fucking metal.